Yo, this is quick, man. Shoot. <laughs> Have I even got a job anymore? Yo, this is mad. Holy smokes. Look at all these cuts. Damn, bro. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Dave here with the Old Family Channel. And this plugin is bonkers. If you've been living under a rock, this has been going mad on TikTok, Instagram. No freaking way. That's insane. <laughs> with filmmakers just scratching their heads as to A, how is this doing this? B, why have we not had this any sooner? It's a plugin called Autopod and it's marketed as this multi-cam editing podcast tool, but it does another two things that are really cool. And usually these programs would be done separately and then you have to export an XML file and then dump it into Premiere. Ain't nobody got time for that. But this does everything in Premiere, which is great. Now people think it's AI, but I think it's just simple programming where it basically assigns videos to speakers and then when it hears audio from that speaker, it just switches to that camera. Super smart. It's something that I could probably do in say about 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes, just going through my whole timeline. But this does it in under a minute. It's unreal. So let me show you how it works. We're gonna jump in straight. If you go onto the website, autopod.fm, they have one tool. It does three different things. We're gonna go through it in the video. It's a multi-camera editor, super quick. It's a social clip editor and then a jump cut editor. And if you're an editor, you're probably asked a lot to make social media content. And we've created a kit called the Social Media Creator Kit that has animations for footage and subtitles. It's got sound effects. It's got save guide zones for every social media platforms. It's got pop tags just to make your life easier, to make the content faster and make it look better. You'll see posts out there that have loads of subtitles and animations. Well, we've done that for you. Drag and drop, ready to go. Check it out in the description. And I'm not gonna go through how I synced everything up. This is stuff that we should already know. But right here, I've got three camera angles. So I'll disable these. So we recorded a podcast, we did it on Riverside. So it was really easy to just get high quality stuff and then just dump it into Premiere. So I've got Josh's angle, I've got Nick, and then myself. And then I just made a nesting clip where I just positioned everything in place and then just put some simple borders around everything, put a background I found online. And this is what it looks like, all synced up. And I'm simply gonna go up to extensions. I'm gonna go to Autopod multi-camera editor and this is gonna open up. So these are some of the settings. So we've got four cameras technically. So we've got three speakers and then a baked one, which is everybody. And then I'm gonna tell it who's on each audio channel. So I'm on audio channel one, Josh is on two and Nick is on three. And right here you got your video channel. So I've renamed everything so it's nicely organized. So I know Josh is on number one, Nick is on number two, I'm on number three and then here you got a combination. I want all speakers because that's the nested clip I've made. And you've got some more settings here. Cutting method. I like to have it enabled, disabled because you can go through it afterwards and you can choose whatever angles you want if you don't like the ones it's already done automatically. Multi shot frequency is the wide shot. Do you want it low, medium, high? So depends on your preference there. We'll just keep it at medium. And yeah. Let's press this and see what happens. All right, it's loading. And yo, this is quick, man. Shoot. <laughs> Have I even got a job anymore? Yo, this is mad. Holy smokes. Look at all these cuts. Man, I couldn't even make those cuts like in random places that fast. Damn, bro. Under a minute, it's done all these cuts. I do have some thoughts about this. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> so it's it's done all these cuts. So it kind of switches between speaker. It detects what's happening in the track and switches to that camera. Yo, this is incredible. Switch to the wide. Wow. This is definitely worth your money because I'm just going to go back and just listen to this and then enable and disable clips. But it's done most of the cuts already. So if you're in a pinch and you want a fast turnaround, this is insane. So this is the most popular function of this plugin, but it does another two things. So let me show you the other two things. And before we get to the next two things, make sure you subscribe. Apparently over 80% of you guys are not yet subscribed. For more video editing gems, make sure you press that bell and subscribe. All right, let's get back to it. And if you record a lot of A-roll stuff, stuff to camera, 
you make loads of mistakes like myself. Let me show you this other one because I think I'm going to be able to make a lot of use of this. So right here, I've got some A roll. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this other function where it'll just cut my A roll for me, get rid of any silences and hopefully make my life easier. <laughs> okay, so right here, I've got raw footage, camera and audio. So I've synced everything up. I'm going to delete the audio, make sure that is and then I'm going to go open up the jump cut editor. And this simply looks at where the silence is and just cuts that. Let's see if 50 dB is enough. Yo, whoa, holy smokes. That did that so quick. No hands. I'm editing. <laughs> this is crazy. 100% this is worth the money. Find the link in the description. Stop wasting time. Because look at this, man. This is the reason a lot of people, especially me, I'm, I'm going to put my hand up and say, this is like a hurdle I dread when I record a video, a roll. And between like this text based editing that's coming out in Premiere Pro, we can just be creative. I mean, people are scared of like AI and all this stuff, but this allows you to be more creative and it is exciting, man. This is so cool. And then the third function is obviously social media clip creator. So let's say I want that clip right there. Let's in and out that. So I would like that to be 1080 by 1920 reframe. Uh, don't want to end page or watermark and create clips. You what? That was it. I mean, I should have recorded wider and it's, it's created another sequence. Correct time is everything. Oh my days. This is like essential. This thing does three things really quick, really fast, efficient. It applies auto reframe, which is a native plugin to Premiere Pro. And after you've created a clip, you can add some subtitles, choose whatever font you want, highlight your captions, go up to graphics and title, upgrade the captions to a graphic. And from there, you can go through the effects that we've got in the creator kit and just drag and drop and done now i am gonna say when it comes to the editing side of stuff this would save me about half an hour maybe of doing this because i would go in and like chop the audio up and you know adjust stuff there's a lot more to do as far as like a multicam interview podcast but this does a lot like a good chunk of the work that you'd already do and it just gets the ball rolling this gets you through that like hurdle. It just gets you in the editing phase. So, yo, I'm super impressed with this. Link in the description, check it out. It, they do a 30 day trial. I'm, I'm using this bad boy and I'm surprised nobody else has come up with it yet, but great job. Trey and the team just absolutely killed this. All right, see ya in a bit, peace.